Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I've got another expensive squad builder. Um, it's going to be a hybrid between um, three clubs, Bayern Munich, Manchester City and Juventus. There is one AC Milan player, but you know I've tried to keep it to three clubs. I just thought I'd do something different. Um, and instead of um, like reviewing the team at the end, I've decided to record this bit after I've played all the games, so I already know who my favourite players are in this team. So anyway, let's just get straight into this. So in net, we have Gianluigi Buffon. Very, very good keeper for 8,800. I mean, 90 diving and 90 positioning being his great stats, so he's always in position and his diving's great. He performed very well for me. Like, I've got very little negative things to say so the two centre backs are Chiellini and Agbona and um, uh, I don't know like for their stats you'd expect them to be really overpowered like they were in previous FIFA's like 77 pace 82 defence and 79 heading for Agbona and Chiellini's got 77 pace 86 defending and 82 heading they are they're quite good but there's better defenders out there like I didn't really seem to notice the pace too much. Sorry if you can hear that by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't know, they, they weren't the best, I don't know what it was, but um, right back is the Milan player Abate. He was really good down the right hand side, uh, running down because uh, of his 93 pace. And all his other stats for shooting are in the 70s as well, which is great for a right back, like for a full back on either side. So yeah, I enjoyed him. On the left we have Inform Alaba, now this is one of two Informs in this team. I did enjoy this guy, um, I didn't really seem to notice a difference between his normal card and his um, Inform, probably because the normal's so good anyway, I mean look at all that. Four stats are in the 80s and two are in the 70s, which for a fullback is just unbelievable. Definitely good, but I'd just recommend getting his normal card, it's basically identical and I loved that card as well. Um, two CDMs are Schweinsteiger and Yaya Toure. Both of these, I've got to say, really did help the defence because, as I said, I didn't really enjoy Chiellini or, or, or Agbona too much, but these two were brilliant, honestly. Like, they got forward and they defended really well. I mean, Yaya Toure's standout stats are 83 defence, 84 heading and 80 pace. Sorry, 80 passing. Schweinsteiger's are 81 shooting, 86 passing and 83 dribbling and 80 defence so very high rated and they are really really good they work really well as a partnership sorry I forgot to say the price is right Agbona cost 1200 Chiellini 13,500 Alaba in form 110,000 um, Abate 1000 and oh sorry uh, uh, accidentally pressed B so we'll get straight back into this the formation, the way you move around it is pretty annoying sometimes. Anyway, Schweinsteiger 60,000 which is really cheap for what you get and Yaya Tour in 91.5 thousand. Considering last FIFA I think he was 40 and FIFA 12 he was only 10. This is unbelievable and he's the exact same rating on FIFA 12 and 13 but he is really really good so I would recommend him. Center attacker mid is David Silva. This guy I really really did enjoy. He was probably my third favorite player in this entire team. Um, two of them are coming up, so the top two are coming up as well, but yeah, he, he's just brilliant, honestly. 89 dribbling, 86 passing, and a 78, Jesus, 78 pace and 78 shooting, but one thing I noticed is that his first touch is ridiculously good. I really, really did enjoy it. There's a goal that you'll see, which is a brilliant ball from, I think it's a bad eight or Alaba. And it goes straight to David Silva, he takes a touch and it goes in off the post. I really, really did enjoy him, so I'd recommend him definitely. I've tried all the big centre attacker mids and my favourite in the Premier League anyway, are Mata and David Silva by a mile. On the right we have Jesus Navas. Now, he was good, but he just never really seemed to get into the game. I mean, he didn't score any goals for me and he only assisted one. He just, I don't know... He was good when he had the ball, but he just never seemed to get the ball very much. He cost 28,000 and David Silva was 109,000, which is really, really expensive. Now, my second favourite player on this team, and also the most expensive, Ribéry. Um, this player, 
I didn't think I was going to enjoy because FIFA 13 I didn't and I think it was 88 rated but um I, I can't remember but anyway I didn't really enjoy him but this FIFA 91 pace 93 dribbling 82 passing 78 shot oh he was just so good he, his dribbling was exquisite his skills absolutely fantastic shooting brilliant passing obviously I mean sorry any jeez <laughs> Everything about this player is so good, and if you've got the coins, I recommend you using him. High-rated players on this FIFA seem to actually make a difference, which I'm really happy about. He cost me 710,000, so he's very expensive, but if you do have the coins, please try him out if you haven't already. And now the star performer of this team, Aguero's first in form. Cost me 585,000, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to get, like... 30,000 profit, can probably sell them for 650, so 30,000 including EA tax, but anyway, 89 passing, 88 shooting, 91 dribbling, this guy, he's got a better touch than David Silva, and that's saying something for what I was playing, his shots are just ridiculous, his dribbling, his, oh, everything, his interlinks, his passing, even his heading was okay, I don't, I don't know, he just, he just seems to be so good. A um, bit of a shame because he plays for City, but now nah, on FIFA I, I couldn't care less. Like it, it's not real life, so you can like a player if he's from your opposite club. On FIFA it doesn't matter, but yeah, honestly, really, really good. Really did enjoy him, and I noticed a difference from his normal card, which is very rare for a high-rated um, in form like him. But yeah. For 585,000 or roughly about 640, I would highly recommend him. He really, really is good, like you'll see in the goals to come. But anyway, right, this time this will be a proper outro, so I'm not going to do two outros because I won't be talking during the highlights. So, yeah, if you have any suggestions for future hybrids or squads for me to build, maximum price I'd probably say about 2 million because that's all I have. Um, then yeah, just comment in the comment section below. Please like this video if you did like it. My channel's starting to grow and it's really, really like made me happy. Like, thanks so much. So yeah, hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content and yeah, peace and I hope you enjoy the highlights. And thanks for listening to Royal Treks. You can get the download link by pressing the annotation right over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. And feel free to check out my channel for some awesome video game series. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.